Hello YouTube, hope you're all well. Welcome back to Matt's Country. My name is Matt, unsurprisingly. Today we're going to talk about the relationship between the telescopic sight, or open sights to an extent, and the barrel on your air rifle or rifle. This is going to be primarily aimed to assist noobs, that's all you guys who've not been shooting yet, or are about to start, or have just had your first go, to understand what you see and what happens in terms of the pellet leaving the gun. This gun is an HW95, that's irrelevant really, it's a spring powered brake barrel gun, could be anything. And this scope is a 3 to 9 magnification, that means it zooms between 3 times and 9 times, and it has a 40mm front lens. We can adjust the focus with something called parallax adjustment. All of that has got nothing to do with what we're going to talk about, it's just people like to know. Okay, look at the scope and imagine where my eye line would be. My eye would be about here looking through that. See? Now look at where the barrel is. The barrel is massively lower than my eye line. This gun is empty, you're all quite safe. Don't duck. You see? What I see at point blank and where the barrel aims are different. You see? If I look through there now, if it was in focus and aim the crosshairs, that is not, repeat not, where the barrel would point. So we have a dilemma, don't we? If you're not looking at the thing you're aiming at, obviously you can adjust the telescopic sight. These turrets enable you to change where the crosshair is up and down, left and right. But it's not enough to compensate for the fact there is a massive difference between the end of that barrel and where you're looking. So what happens is when the gun is made, the scope rail the thing the scope connects to on the gun is designed at a slightly different angle to the barrel so that after a certain distance these two things cross over. That's important because that's the point where your pellet does hit where the crosshair is. But then what happens because the pellet has been going up to match the line of your sight. I know it doesn't look a lot but it's had to go up in this instance probably about inch and a half three or three and a half centimetres from where the scope is sighted. The pellet then continues up. So you're looking flat, the pellet comes out of the barrel, goes up, at a certain distance it crosses the point you're looking at, that's the perfect point where you would aim for, but a little bit further on the pellet's now higher and unsurprisingly as the pellet travels further it slows down. Gravity wants it on the floor. That's what gravity does. Gravity sucks. It's trying to pull the pellet down to the floor. So the pellet goes up, starts to slow because the wind resistance is slowing it, and then it starts to come back down. So a rifle has two zeros, not one. When you zero your rifle, you're going to be zeroing it to two different places. Imagine it like a, a clock. That is always A stopped clock is always right twice a day, isn't it? Let's say it stops at 3.15, it's right at 3.15 and it's right again at 3.15. This has two perfect zero spots. And you will choose those because you'll be adjusting this. But it's still got to make the pellet go up and gravity pulls the pellet back down. And whenever I do this, you'll notice that I go up at quite a, a, a straight line and then I start to slow down and curve it down at more of an angle. That's because the pellet is slowing down. Right. <clears throat> Let's try and get over some of the importance here. It's very, very useful, particularly when you start out, to try and keep this eye line in line with the barrel, i.e. get a smaller front lens and then lower scope mount so that this can be closer to that. It really helps. That's why iron sights, that's the open sights that come with some guns, didn't come as standard on this, but they would be there and there. And when you look, you will be looking down from here and your eye line is really close to where the ammunition is about to leave. And that's a useful thing. In fact, it has to be said, I have just ordered a gun that I'm going to be using just for iron sights. We'll do all that another day, but you get the principle. You can get a larger lens. This is a 40 millimeter front uh, objective lens. You can get a 32, you can get a 20, you can get a 50, you can get a 50. In fact, there's lots of different sizes. They're just some of them. When you get those, you have to make it fit the gun, which means you have to have big amounts, which means that your eye has to be higher up, and your eye is therefore further above the barrel. And don't forget, the barrel is not the top of this silencer, it's that little tiny hole in the centre, the bore. And look how high it is, I'm going to reiterate this again, above where I would be looking. 
Look at the distance. That pellet has to come up and then go back down again. So, <clears throat> when you zero your gun, I suggest you zero it quite close. I know you'd like to think as a new first time shooter that you'll be matching all the people you see on YouTube doing their headshots at 40 metres. It's really not likely. It's really not likely at all. I can't do it. I can't consistently headshot stuff at 40 metres. I just can't do it. So there you go. I'm sure there's some amazing shots out there who are just laughing in their gravy. Crack on. I can't do it. What you need to do is zero this for about 15 metres. And what will probably happen, because when you've done that, the pellet is still on its way up, you'll probably find that there is another zero at about 25 metres. It'll be approximately. So how do you know? Well, you get your trusty shooting bag, which is fallen on the floor. And in your trusty shooting bag, obviously, you've got your paper targets and your carrier bags and stuff. And the best thing you can do is to set these out every five metres. Five metres, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 metres. Then you shoot five pellets at the centre. Doesn't matter where they land, just shoot them at the, five, at the centre of the target. And what will happen is at five metres, you'll probably find that the pellets are below where you were aiming. That's because the pellet's still on its way up. At about 10-ish metres, they'll be really close. At 15, in theory, you've zeroed at 15, they'll be spot on. And at 20 metres, the pellets will be higher because the pellets are still climbing. And then at 30, they may well have dropped down, or 25. You do it. It's different with every ammunition. It's different with every weight of pellet. It's different with the calibres. So a 177 has a much flatter trajectory. We're not going to get into the pros and cons of that. Lighter pellets travel faster. They have a smaller curve. A 25 cal, 0.25, tends to be heavier, and it does tend to do more of that, particularly in England where we have a 12 foot pound limit. So set them up, shoot them. You might also find that as the range gets out further and further, the pellets are one side or the other more and more. And that's because you haven't quite got the zero right on your left and right, your windage. So, but start close. Get good and confident near. Don't just go for the full Monty bloody miles away shots. They're not easy, even with a good PCP, that is not an easy thing to do. Don't, mentally, don't do it to yourself. Start close, enjoy your shooting, particularly with a spring gun like this one. Underneath there. So, let's recap. The scope that you choose would be really quite helpful if it were a little bit smaller at the front so it could have lower mounts. That would put it nearer to the barrel. That means your eye line, when you look through it, and the barrel are closer together. One day, one day, somebody's going to go, oh, you got to have a 56 mil, or you won't be able to see at dusk. True. Or you could just get better quality, smaller scope with better lenses and a bigger tube in the middle. They're all things for another day. If you want to try open sights, try open sights. I'm going to go back to them for a while. There'll be a video about that one day in the future. Gun hasn't arrived yet. But I will try that again, particularly with a big calibre. So, <clears throat> scope, looking through. Eye line above barrel, pull trigger, pellet comes out barrel below line of sight. Pellet travels up, crosses line of sight at some point, continues up, comes back down, crosses line of sight again. Two points of zero. Right, I'm not going to bore you anymore. I hope you enjoyed that. As with all of these videos, one cut, just me, no edits, no graphics, as quick as it can be so you don't have to see too many adverts because that's not what this is about either just about you and me. Matt's country saying, thanks for being here. Hope you all have a good day. Take care. Shoot straight. Be safe. Good.